Hey, it's your girl Unique Speaks talking about what I'm talking about because that's what your girl is all about. It's, it's your girl Unique Speaks talking about what I'm talking about. It's your girl Unique Speaks talking about what I'm talking about because it's what your girl is all about. It's your girl. It's your girl. You need speak. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. This is your girl, Unique Speaks, and I'm Unique Speaks, and I'm Unique. I am really trying to introduce myself to you all as much as possible, but I know that this is just, I'm watching YouTube too much. <laughs> like, I'm not finna follow everybody else. I'm not finna get no ideas from nobody else. I'm just finna rock this YouTube the way that I know how, and that's just to post videos about me and who um, I am. If y'all didn't hear, um, if I, I don't know if I said it before. Yeah. So this is going to be a lifestyle channel. Um, I will be doing a lot of different things on this channel. Um, just expresses that expresses me and um, who I am and just bring you into my world. Okay. Bringing you into my world and showing you how unique deals. Right. And when I deal, I like to talk about it. So this video is going to be a quick video just talking a little bit about me and where I am at since January 14th this year. <laughs> my birthday was on that day and I uh, I enjoyed my birthday. I'm truly blessed to see it. Um, and after a couple of days in after my birthday, um, some revelations came to me that, you know, that I have to fix some things in my life. And some of those things are dealing with my past, past, um, past hurt, sexual abuse, um, uh, just a lot of childhood trauma that I didn't realize that I had, you know, and I think a lot of people in this world don't know that they have some type of childhood trauma or the way that they were raised or something that went on when that was a childhood affected them and it caused them to be the person they are today. And some people have, um, you know, came, you know, very mutual with that person in themselves that, you know, hey, this happened, but hey, this is me now and I'm moving forward. Me, I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that because I can see how it affects my marriage, my children, on my job, my friendships, any type of connections I try to create. And obviously, you know, I, I had my mind set up that it's everybody else except for me. So this year, revelation came and I immediately became obedient. I expressed these things to my husband um, because we were, we weren't rocky, but you know, that part of that marriage is the things that I'm dealing with. It just wasn't, it's just too soon, right? But too soon. And I'm glad it's not too late. You understand what I'm saying? So um, I'm still, you know, in my bubbly spirit, you know, sometimes, but then I have my moments where I'm not. Um, I do cry a lot. I, um, I'm very sad sometimes. Sometimes I just don't want to be bothered. And so I guess you can ask yourself, like, why would you start a YouTube channel and you know you're going through the worst parts of your life? I don't believe I'm going through the worst parts of my life. I believe that I'm going through the best part. The best part because I'm still living and I'm willing to change some things about myself and my mindset and the way that I've been thinking all these years to better my life. So I'm really am excited. Um, I'm going to take you on this journey with me because I just believe that it's going to help somebody. I, I don't know who, but I believe it's going to help somebody just to show that you're not alone. I believe I'm not alone, but my mindset still kind of puts me to where I don't want to focus on, on that, you know, that part. But I have to now. Um, we all have to face it one day and I'm willing to face mine now because I want my, my future to be so much better and brighter that I will not turn around. So, um, yes, I've not been diagnosed with any type of depression or diagnosed with anything just yet, but I do believe that, um, I will be finding out really, really soon. I have a doctor's appointment on tomorrow. Today is Wednesday. So tomorrow's Thursday, February 4th. So I do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, just to see if I'm going through premenopause because my hot flashes at night and cold and these, I, I just, it's really like kicking my butt. I want to say that I've been going through this for a couple of years that I've noticed, but I'm really, really starting to recognize what I'm going through now. And then, you know, a lot of things in my past with, you know, 
just start to arise and started to, you know, I wanted to talk about them and the more I talk about them, the more, the more crying happened. And that's when I knew I did not cope or deal with these things in my past. So I have taken some steps y'all to better me. And I believe everybody should do this or even tap in to what happened into their past just so you're able to cope and move forward and so you can see the better you i don't know who unique speaks really is until i get through this part so i'm i'm looking forward to introducing my reintroducing myself to myself you know what i'm saying in my mindset you know and getting that help so i also have an appointment on this friday with um with some counseling a counselor um after I start and I'm really interested, I definitely I know I'm already interested because after talking to her, she's absolutely amazing. The you know for her to call me directly, it was just so personable, and I and it just really helped me open up. So my first session is this Friday, so I will be dropping the link of her because I I was referred to her through another YouTube channel. So I just really really appreciate. Um, this person and I, and I'll talk about it more once I get there. So I'm this start my new beginning, starting my new beginning. So I really appreciate the support, like comment and subscribe. So you can come along on this journey with me, become part of my family. Um, cause I know I'm not alone and you're not either. So, Hey, so how y'all doing? Um, coming back. Um, it's a couple of days later since I did the first video. Um, you know, talking about, um, some things that I've been going through. Um, I just put some lipsticks on it because <laughs> I had no lip gloss and I don't like it. Um, I know I, all my other videos are just like, ho, ho, like she coming serious, but I want to let y'all in. Like, I feel like at this point in my life, like I do want to start YouTube. I do want to you know like really start this thing because I got a lot to say I got a lot to say I've been through a lot and I can help somebody and everybody on their platform on YouTube your social media sites anything should be using that platform or your profile to be reaching people because everybody has an experience and I believe everybody has a testimony and I just want to share mine with y'all and, and go through this journey with you all um i still will be having some pop-in videos of just me because that's me you know being lively and talking about other things but i want to take you on this journey and i will be posting the titles so you know exactly what i'm talking about when i'm talking about what i'm talking about <laughs> um but anyway i started my first day counseling on yesterday yeah and I'm gonna after I go into my sessions and going really really good. I will introduce who I'm, what agency I'm going through, what you know, what counseling sessions and all that. I'll go more in detail of the company and stuff like that. But I wanted to say that I, I've been through counseling before, um, but it was for my job. It was like I was going through some um, hostile work environment. <laughs> Um, so I went through like three sessions um, just to help me deal with and overcome some things that I was, you know, facing on my job at the time. And then, you know, that was years ago. But I, there was a benefit behind the counseling, so I, I still stand behind counseling. Like, but I just didn't think that I was really nothing wrong with me. <laughs> I already knew what counseling was important, so I'm excited to start. So my first session was yesterday. And it felt really good to talk to somebody and for someone to basically tell me what I'm... Oh, it got dark. <laughs> it went on a bridge. Um, basically, like, to tell me what, I'm, what, I'm, what I am feeling, you know? I know what I feel like I'm feeling, but basically someone to, who mentally knows how the brain operates and how things affect us um, to basically translate what I'm feeling, you know? So, uh oh shaking um, but so it really, it really helped me out a lot. So stay tuned, um, you know, so I could continue to talk about, you know, that session just a little bit. All right, so I'm back and I, I just wanted to wait till I stop so I could talk to y'all just a little bit more. Um, okay, so basically, you know, my session, like I said, she basically helped me translate how I was feeling or what I was, you know, what I'm, what I faced 
you know, in my younger years and um, how it affected my life today. <clears throat> um, she has really, and she enlightened me on some things. And even on the first session, like I, I believe that I began to forgive my brother um, because I don't think I dissected it the way that I should have um, in the manner where I could forgive my brother. So um, not only just forgiving my brother, but just understanding that he went through something too. So um, now you know, just with that, you know, it gave me a, it gave me a little bit of closure. And I know that, um, as, as I continue my sessions, which I have another session next Friday at 10. So today is Saturday. So like I said, I had my first session yesterday and it's going to be again next Friday. And then we're going to go to air bi-weekly sessions. Um, that gives me the opportunity to do different exercises and practice different things that she suggested I do or, you know, and you know, stuff like that. So for <clears throat> my first session, um, basically I got, um, um, <laughs> And uh, 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 assignment, I guess, to just kind of talk about self care, um, work on my self care. Um, um, I take quick showers. So let me just go ahead and say that. I take quick showers. I get in the shower, get out, you know, or I hardly ever take baths. Um, but I like taking showers. So, however, she did tell me to suggest to taking a shower, a long shower. Um, you know, meditating, playing some music without words, words with me, when music are triggers for me. I didn't realize that. And I believe she's going to break that down even more to me on different triggers. So I don't trigger myself and, 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 and stuff like that. And also, even though she's not counseling me and my husband, <clears throat> She she gives me some advice that I can give to my husband. And so he is not a trigger. I mean, it's just a lot of different things. And I just believe that when you are going through something in life, if you're trying to achieve something in life or whatever it is on your marriage or children, your job, it could be something mentally blocking you. And and everybody in this world should be going to some type of counseling. I'm just being honest. Um, should be going to someone who we can talk to um, that will give us the advice and that we will put in the work to achieve whatever we're trying to achieve. And me, I'm trying to live that better life. I'm trying to get to that Charlene that I didn't get to get a chance to be introduced to because I lost control of my body at a very young age. When my innocence was taken away from me, molestation and rape, what those things did to me and being able to talk about them. I, I will not be sharing that right now on this, on this video. Um, <clears throat> but as I get better and as I continue to heal and cope and move on truly move on from things i believe i'll be able to you know voice them a little bit more so again i just wanted to kind of bring y'all in on my world a little bit because this is some things that i've been facing my inconsistency procrastination you know stuff like that i, I can't start this youtube channel if i'm mentally being blocked by some things and you know and the other videos that i have posted like they are what they are because that's charlene like you know unique is the alter ego that is unique is the one that, you know, that has been come trying to come out. And that's the one that is so empowered and, and passionate and everything. And then Charlene gets in the way because Charlene has been going through some things. And so I'm just, I try to separate those. She did tell me about separating, you know, the trauma Charlene and then in the one I'm trying to work on. So self-care, I did my shower. If I'm all over the place, y'all forgive me. Cause that's just, that's just how I talk. <laughs> um, I took my shower. I paid my some music with no mute, no words. I, you know, I sat in the shower for a long time and the music without words, it really like set me to a point where I was just, I wasn't thinking about what I went through. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> about counseling I wasn't thinking about anything I was just thinking about myself and I was in a lot of peace so I, I can appreciate that peace after there. that um my husband suggested that we watch a movie we ordered pizza and we was with the kids and whatever like that and we sat and watched a movie or whatever I 
I was still kind of in a funk. I don't, I, I got out the shower. I think that, you know, but I'm going to keep trying, you know, I'm not going to say that it failed, but it did liven me up. It did relax me. It did, um, like just give me a sense of peace. But then my kids are just, I'm, I don't know how to talk about it. Like I, I'm not, you know, I'm not like upset with my kids or frustrated with them. But I think if you're a mom, you understand what kids can do. You know, they're just full of life and you love that about kids. Right. Um, and innocent minds are innocent and mine was taken away from me but I see the innocence and I just want to keep that um but at the same time you know they was getting on my nerves I'm like how can I separate myself or do this self-care thing you know being a wife uh, a working wife a mother of three like how do you do that so I, I know she's going to help me with that it's just the first session unique like so as I get to Unique, y'all going to get to know Unique. I'm going to be reintroducing myself to myself and to you. So I, I'm looking forward to bringing you on the journey. I hope that you like this video even right now. You've probably been watching so far. It was like, you know, this is really interesting to what she's talking about or something like that. And you want to hit that like button. And you also want to comment about anything that I'm saying. Maybe you're going through counseling. Maybe you've been through counseling. Anything like that, you can share with me. I'm so, my counselor. Like, she's she's awesome so far. Like, um, yeah, I, I'll go more in detail about her because she's awesome. Um, but yeah, um, self-care, I'm trying to get my nails done. I came to, um, a really good friend's house, um, cause I have not been getting my nails done. I've been wearing press on nails. That's what these are. These are press on nails and I've been wearing press on nails for like years, like before the pandemic, because I just, you know, I want to cut back on money or whatever like that. So I've always been wearing kind of press on nails. Um, but she, you know, she's a, cos a licensed cosmetologist and she's been getting into the nails or whatever. And, and so she's just trying to, you know, practice more. And so I like you put a there. lot of people, um, you know, advertising or whatever like that. That's what I like to do. I like to talk and I like to tell people about stuff. <laughs> so at the end of the day, you know, I got to get my mental right so I can get back to that passionate, unique, that, that, that what this platform is all about. You know, like I just got it. I got to. And <sighs> I'm tired of crying. I'm tired of trying to figure it out by myself. So if you where I'm at, join the journey. And hopefully through my journey, you'll get the urge, the guts, the courage to do it too. Talk to y'all in the next video.